Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for May the 1st, 2023. Monday's energy, here we come. Beautiful energy as we move into all the beautiful collective energy. Remember, this is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. This is our affirmation to create our beautiful new best possible life using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our intention to create what we choose in this lifetime. If you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's move right on into the reading. Ooh, we have the Six of Swords launching in the right direction. All the swords are pointing in the right direction, so that means it's going to make it easy for you to go forward. All of your information is, is loaded for bear. You're ready to go, and you have everything you need to do so. Then you've got the Temperance card, Archangel Uriel. It is the energy of balance and synchronicity, as you see. The four orbs here are being lined up with the one there, so that it makes this balance energy as you move forward. All things aligning. So... Let's see what else we have, my darlings. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, we have the strength card. That is the Leo Major Arcana. Very solid energy of being assisted by Archangel Ariel. Walking through all travels and, and tri tur turbulence, tribulations, and trials. Allowing you to move through everything still focused on your goal and to achieve the outcome you choose and to get you to the goal. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek. To assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we start off with the Five of Cups, reminding you, you got to leave the ones that you are, the sun is setting on and move right into the unknown, which is where all miracles are, are lying in wait. And there's a confirmation. <laughs> I didn't turn my phone ringer off. So there you go. Boop, 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 boop. Here is the Ten of Swords. Beautiful energy of clearing what feels like the target on your back. Letting you get out of the energy of feeling under attack or being bombarded by negativity. The cycle of negativity is ending with this Ten of Swords. Hallelujah. We have good fortune. Good fortune's always welcome. We love us some good fortune. It is the energy of being very much in a place where you are walking in grace and you feel that energy and knowing that you are the person that the sun always shines on. Just being that, having that belief in your heart attracts it to you. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. Therein lies the second little clue. It's a prospect. You've got to, to take it. You've got to be the one to go investigate it and see if that's for you and then pick it up and go with it. The universe can show you a whole bunch of things, but if you don't ever take action on them, it does you no good at all. Flexibility. This is reminding yourself that sometimes things don't show up the way you planned, but you do have to be able to be kind of amicable to, to the little adjustments you have to make. Allow yourself to be flexible. I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. It's because, babies, we don't know. We don't know everything we don't know. So you have to be prepared for that and be able to adjust accordingly. Don't think everything is just going to bend to your will. You have to be able to be flexible and, and move with it. It is very fluid energy, so you've got to be fluid as well. That's the compromise. Flexibility, same same diff, just a different word. So being in that place where you can allow yourself to make judgment calls that have to put you, you know, in the right position through a little change in plans. I don't know about y'all, but anything I've ever done, I've had to acquiesce to different things. Oh, my favorite, my favorite, the prosperity donut. I call it the cosmic donut. It's just beautiful. Doesn't it look like a fancy donut? The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. 
It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches the universe provides. And so it is snapping that into existence. (laughs) Hallelujah. Yes, we will take some prosperity. Very fancy cosmic donut. Thank you for showing up. We haven't seen you in a hot minute. I'm happy to see you. Welcome to the party. Mm. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help you unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. And so it is. It is all valid because it is from you. You are authentically creating and that's what makes it all about the beautiful, glorious uniqueness that is you. Miracle. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, do not let hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am consistently and constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. And so it is. Beautiful energy. Okay, here we go. We know we've got the Five of Cups with this beautiful Ten of Swords that's come in to alleviate what's been kind of stressing you out or making you feel like you're just having to cower down and hide under the covers, right? Now, that means this is the past. These three cups, the sun is setting on these and they are done. They have turned. They are no, <laughs> they are rancid wine. And then you have, they turn into the illumination. See how it looks like a little flame is on the end of them? Now they're illum- the experience you had here is illuminating your way forward. So don't let yourself keep looking backwards at the past. Let yourself go on and go forward with this. Because now you've got two brand new cups that are going to help you. And remember, when you have this blank energy... This is being in the quantum field, being in the unknown, and the unknown, my darlings, are where miracles live. That's where they live, because it's not something you consciously know about. Miracles are very, very um, open to whatever their their creation energy is, and we don't always know how it's going to go. That's why you got to be flexible as well. Queen of Wands. This is the action queen. And when it's a queen, it's fertility. It's new growth. It's new things coming in. It's fire sign energy. So Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, Major Arcana. But this is boss lady energy. This is a new business being created. A new way of moving in in, in whatever you're doing for a living. This Rods are action and work. So it's very much about that. Either a new position where you're in a higher position and now you're the leader. All of these good things coming in. Very fruitful And you have the Princess of Swords. Now, this is an excellent depiction of the sword energy. It's usually the messenger of the page in the standard tarot. But this is Princess because this is a very feminine deck. She's bending the sword to illuminate her way forward. She's using the information to illuminate her path. The information is the sword, right? So allow yourself to do that and allow yourself to be in a place where you receive the information and help it guide you forward this is a very positive energy for monday i send you lots of love lots of light peace happiness joy abundance and divine prosperity to you all i love you guys and i send you all beautiful blessings as we move into the release of all the toxic energy and receive all the prosperity and the miracle energy as we allow ourselves to move forward i'll see you again tomorrow namaste my friends